Hello there, and welcome to a new thing we're trying out. It's called Anna Draws It, something we wanted to do for a while now. Uh, folks probably know me from Handmade Hero. I'm Casey Miratori. Uh, you probably also know Anna Reppert. Hello. She is the person who draws the art for Handmade Hero. And of course, we also both work on 1935 together and the comic Meow the Infinite uh, at our company, Molly Rocket. So what we wanted to do, and I know this sounds ridiculous, but I'm just, sometimes we try ridiculous stuff. What we wanted to do was see if Anna could draw a random Dungeons and Dragons style monster without either of us actually knowing what that monster is supposed to look like. And it turns out that Wizards of the Coast kind of did us, did us a huge favor They've recently sort of created an open source uh, game library. It's called the OGL, um, and you can download it as a PDF. And what it essentially is, is it was, I guess, made to sort of allow people to make Dungeons & Dragons style stuff uh, that they could then release themselves or something. I don't really know, because neither of us are Dungeons & Dragons experts. We don't really know role-playing that well. Um, so. They released this collection of Dungeons and Dragons monster rules and stuff that you can read that has no depictions of the monsters and that has no other information other than just what they do. So this is perfect for us because normally if you buy, you know, the real Dungeons and Dragons set, it's got like images and big descriptions, which might not make it really that interesting to try and draw because it has exactly what it looks like on there. But this is perfect. So what I've done is I've gone and looked up what I think are some monsters that have just enough detail to make it possible to draw them, but not enough detail to actually tell you what they look like. And we're going to give Anna a chance uh, to, to come up with the actual monster uh, image. Are you ready? Yeah, let's do it. Okay. All right. So we're going to start in alphabetical order. Oh, good. And we're also going to have to caveat this for people out there who are fans of tabletop, or I guess pen and paper uh, RPGs. I don't know how to pronounce any of this stuff. So I'm going to say the names wrong, and I apologize. But that's just part of it. Mm -hmm. I guess it's two things. It's Anna draws it and Casey pronounces it. Yeah. And they're both probably wrong. Do you want to let that? Oh, and we've got, we also have our cat Molly. Uh, who I guess we haven't really talked about, but she may come up on the stream at some point. You can't see her right now. She's off camera. Oh, the tail, the tail. Yeah, it's got the tail. All right, so here's your first creature, Anna. Wait, hold on, hold on. Oh, man. She's is she going to play? Is she going to play? No, she's just going to sit there. All right, that's fine. She's good. All right, here's your first creature. Okay. It's called an aboleth. Aboleth? An aboleth. A, B, you can title it at the top if you'd okay. like. Okay. A, B, O, L, E, T, H. Sort of like an aboleth or a boleth. I don't know. We'll go with aboleth. It's an aboleth. It sounds like you're going to say like obel obel It's an obelisk. Obelisk? It's an obelisk. An obelisk. Here's what we know about it from its byline. It is a large aberration and lawful evil. Now, I wrote down what aberrations yeah, we were because we don't know. Okay, okay. An aberration is an utterly alien being. Oh, good. Okay. Many of them have innate magical abilities drawn from the creature's alien mind rather than the mystical forces of the world. The quintessential aberrations are aboleths, which is what we're drawing, <coughs> beholders, mind flayers, and sloddy. All right. All right. right, so this is a, an aboleth, it's a large aberration, and should here... I, should I take notes, or are you here to clarify? I can say this, I mean, you're going to be drawing this, you and I'm going to be useless. You need to be taught. After this introduction is all that I add to the show, which is a yeah. li limit, very, and very Molly, little. Molly's yeah. and, and, well, Molly, what's the, what's the, like, work out a way to get her on camera? So, here's the description of what it does. The aboleth is amphibious, so it can oh. breathe air and water. Okay. Right? Mm-hmm. While it's underwater, so it can swim, okay. it is surrounded, and I think this is probably crucial, it is surrounded by transformative mucus. Oh, good. Their words, not mine. Transformative? Transformative mucus. Does that mean it can, like, control?
control the shape of this mucus? I would assume that this is like a, a mucus, uh, yeah, like a pseudopod. I it see. can kind of do stuff. I don't know. Okay. A creature that touches the aboleth or that hits it with a melee attack while within five feet may become diseased. Mm. So this is like a diseased, mucusy... Maybe, a, maybe we could say a contaminated... <laughs> a contaminated snake. The diseased creature can breathe only underwater, so it turns you into a fish, in a sense, right? If you get diseased, it, you can only breathe underwater. So you, I mean, in some ways that could be a benefit. I mean, we can't normally breathe underwater, so that it, seems like a bonus. Especially to fight a creature that is underwater. It's like a scuba bonus. But anyway, this part's less good. And your skin becomes translucent and slimy. All right. If a creature communicates telepathically with the Aboleth, the Aboleth learns the creature's greatest desires. Mm -hmm. And finally, it has a tentacle melee attack. Okay, so we got tentacles. And a tail melee attack, okay. both with a 10-foot reach. So we are looking for a creature mm -hmm. with a tail, a tentacle, transformative mucus, and diseases people if it touches them. Also, apparently it's somehow has telepathic abilities, if, but only if you initiate it, I guess. We'll just go with telepathy. They look all pea themed things. And there you go. Are these, okay, so am I forgetting any, any of the key elements? I guess like It's amphibious. amphibious. Are they spelled, that's not right, is it? Um, no, it's not, it's an I. Yeah, it's like I or E. There you go. There we go. Okay. So, hmm. All right. <clears throat> now I can help with this if you want, but okay. Well, let me. I mean, I feel like it may be your. Let's just get going with like okay. So your intuition first. Amphibians. Amphibians. Maybe we'll start with like sort of like a frog like a frog like um kind of situation. So so kind of like a uh, a, a a frog like we might see in our world, an I'm amphibious just, I'm just, creature. I'm just starting. Okay. Oh, this, you know what? I'm already liking this Avalon. Well, it's because he looks like our character from you know, The Intimate. Yeah, that King may be Brock true. Flaga. It does look kind of like King Brock Flaga. That's okay. I like this already. This is very good. Okay, so yes. we've got sort of like a frog like. Yes. I'm also picturing, you know, somehow with amphibians, I just think, you know. Plus, you know, this okay. is very good. The other thing, too, is yes. he's, got, he's got telepathy, right? Yes. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, wait. No, no, no. Hold That's on. a very good point. Hold he on. Hold on. Hold on. Okay. So yes. he's going to get more like um, like a radar dish kind of, okay. kind of thing. Yes. That's very good. And, I mean, I feel like that is definitely the kind of thing that an abolith would use to, like, telepathically okay. learn the deepest desires of people. Here, I'm going to move him a little bit. Yeah, he's a little bit far up there. You don't have room to really flex to his, really his telepathic just muscles. really get that. Yeah, I mean, because basically what we're getting out of here is like this okay. kind of thing. Okay, okay. You see what I'm saying? Yes, I you do. You see what I'm saying? Yes. Okay, so with the body. Well, the body is going to have a, it has a, a tail, tail and tentacles. Tentacles. All right, so I mean... This Te okay, technically though, it did not say how many tentacles. So we're, we're pluralizing that because that's normally the case, but you could use only one if you wanted. Uh, well, but that would be a little weird. If you just had one tentacle, is that a tail also? I mean, that could well, be... Well, yes, it's a tail and another tail. All right, so we're going to go with something like this. And I'm not forgetting about the mucus. Okay. So maybe we're going to just have, like... Yeah, that transformative mucus seems pretty critical. Um, so we're going we're gonna to have some tentacles. I think we're going to give them a few tentacles. Yeah, that looks more like a foot. Oh, no, now no, it doesn't. Now tentacle. it looks like a tentacle. It's a tentacle. So it's like an octopus tentacle, sort of. What, I mean, well, what other kind of tentacles Well, like squid-like tentacles are very long and sinewy, whereas octopus tentacles are more like... Maybe he's got all of the above. Have you considered that maybe... I haven't has, considered it yet, no. That maybe he has all the kinds of tentacles. Yeah, that's a good point. So what if it was like something like... That's, that's I don't know. I, I don't really remember what squid ties. I just know they're thin. So maybe he's got like two big boys... Yeah. And then he's got like the a bunch of other little ones tiny tentacles. Kind of, kind of like yeah. Kind of I like could see that coming out from all over. Okay. You know, just kind of so he's like a, an enemy almost. Like he just has a or I mean more a squid. 
Yeah. He's a cephalopod. Yeah, exactly. This is basically a, an abelephalopod. I think we're going to give him spots. I just feel like... I don't see any reason not to. I kind of feel like, like that's yeah. the thing. Yeah. And so the thing we're really kind of forgetting about right now... The mu- where's the mucus? Is the mucus. And I mean, I think the, the best way to just is just to give him sort of like a... Oh, wait, hold on. Hold on. We don't need to be... I mean, let's let's be real here. You know, we can we can branch out into the realm of color, into the realm and in, in the world of color. There's no reason you can't color this, that's for sure. Well, it was more just like, you know, I really wanted to get the idea of, like, mucus across, you know, effectively. Yes. And so we're just going to... Okay. No, I see. I, he's kind of drippy. Give him is he swimming right now, or is he on land? Well, I think he's... Well, is he, he in the water? Amphibious, right, so he could... I think he's in the water, but I don't know. I mean, so when he's out of the water, he doesn't have, like, feet or anything. Oh, we don't think he does. Oh, right? This is, well, he could move like a seal. He would kind of have to flop around. You know what I mean? Well, but, uh, I mean, a seal, a seal does that. A seal does what? flops around, it, you know, on land. Oh, I thought you were going to say communicates telepathically. And I was like, that doesn't sound like any seal I've ever Look, seen. That know, certainly I would make the... I have a special uh, relationship with seals. I feel like that would make the aquarium a lot more interesting. Mm. Well, all right. Yeah, this is this is starting to look pretty pretty mucusy to me. Can you please not forget that this is transformative mucus, so it can make a like oh, a shape. Oh, I see. It's not just drippy so mucus. It, like okay. it can, yeah, it can give you like a, it can give you like a thumbs up. I was, it's a, you, you okay, read really? my, you actually read my mind. Okay, good. So that's that's. There what, it is. That's, that's what, what that's what I'm talking about. See, if if you have transformative mucus, why wouldn't you make it do that? Because obviously you would, right? That's what I'm talking about, bro. Transformative mucus. That's right. Perfect. All right. So I mean, I feel like we're we're gonna we're in a pretty good place here. Uh, the other thing. Hold on. Let me just. I feel like. I feel like we need to like really communicate the what's what's going on with these. So let me just see what I'm saying. I just I wanted to make sure. You need that pink telepathy. Yeah. Well, obviously it's pink. Obviously. Not a lot of other colors for telepathy than pink. All right. Okay. So, I mean, do you want me to clean them up, or is this probably what we needed? I, I mean, let, let's give him some interior texture, I think. Just a little bit of color on the inside so we can see the difference between him and the mucus. Gotcha. I okay. think that's probably okay. the only thing we really need. All right. Here. We're going to... Okay. So yeah, you've got the have, fill tool. You don't have to go nuts. Do we have any sort of indication as, as to, like, what color he is? I'm afraid not. There wasn't really much there. I mean... Like you said, he's amphibi- amphibious and mucusy, so it sounds kind of gross, and we normally associate that with like pale green or gray. So it seems like wh- he, where you're at is probably like right, but I don't know. Okay. Um, All right. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Um, yep. I mean, I think that's clearly. No, that that went horribly wrong. I think I think you. No, nope, that's also gone horribly wrong. Yes. It's fine. Nope, all right. Yeah, you know, the fill tool in Photoshop is not very good. Well, I um, think... Oh, golly. They've got issues. How's that? Oh, I've made it. No, wait. I'm doing right. I'm doing right? Everything's going hard. Everything's oh, and then all of a sudden it got... Oh, because the mucus layer. Wow, this is complicated. I'm glad I don't draw for a living. Yeah. Yeah, now, now we're getting somewhere. See what I'm saying? Now, this is... When people play Dungeons & Dragons, this is what they're thinking of. I mean, I'm looking at it right now. I'm saying there's a scary monster. Oh my God. Right. I mean, yes, he's giving the thumbs up, but in a mean way. In a mean way. In a way, dangerous, an in an intimidating, dangerous in way. Mean kind of way. And uh, you know, and he's got pink telepathy, among other well, things. Well, I mean, what other kind of telepathy? We we haven't heard of any other kind of telepathy. That's very good. I'm liking the I'm liking the look. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. No, I see what's going on here. Yes. Okay, and so. Yes. Um, I guess my last thing is like. You know, we're just gonna give him a little light, you know, like a little, a little color. Yeah, just give him a little bit of a tone. Yeah. Oh yeah. No. I mean, look at this. I mean, this is. Re- I would. Here's what I'm gonna say. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and assume that if they had seen this rendition of an Abeleth, this is what would be in the monster manual, right? Like they wouldn't. Oh, well, I don't know what they've got in there now, but it's not. It's not. It's not as representative of an abolesce as this is, I think that's it right there. Yeah, I mean, I think it's basically flawless. That's done. 
Yeah. All right, they. Are we, are, are we going on the So here's the question. Do we now try to look up a picture of an Avalos? I absolutely how we've done? think we should do that. All right, so I'll get a phone so that I can look at the... I don't want to know. Here, 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 here. I got this. Okay. I got this bad boy right here. All right. I don't want to know what it looks like because Abolus. then I might flip up and say something that, that ruins the, the pure intuition of it all. all right. You know what I'm saying? Oh, no. Here we go. So you've got it? That is not far off, dude. Yeah, it is. That is basically the same. We need to hold look at that. Picture. It's the Can same we, thing. Let me. Can I look at this bigger? You drew the abalone. I'll just. Con I'll put it in on the video. Oh, when okay. we edit, I'll, okay. I'll fade that in so gotcha. people can see it. You know, the color scheme. That is. You drew the exact abalone. The only thing no, they forgot. The, mm. the only thing they forgot was the pink telepathy. But the, you know they what, forgot. They hey, forgot that. They didn't what, realize you know that it had that. You know what? There's one more addition after seeing that that I think I, I kind of didn't think about. What? So oh, that 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 brush is the wrong size. <laughs> okay. There we go. Now. Do you, like, do you need to color those teeth? Of those course. Those teeth need a little. Okay. Um, dental hygiene not maybe a big yeah, thing. Yeah. There us. it is. Well, that's the abalone. Um, I, I, I mean. Wallace. Wizards, you know. Call us. I feel like since they were so generous as to open source this, we should we should say, look, if you guys want this for the monster manual, you can have it. You can put this in the monster manual. There okay. you go. You can put this in the monster manual yep. if you'd like. That's this right. can be the new Avalon. All right, you want to do another one? Yeah, man. Let's, let's okay. get that going. I'll make a new folder okay. and everything. Yeah. Did you save that guy? Oh. Okay, good. He's not going anywhere. Good, good, good. Okay. All right. So your next creature, Anna. Mm -hmm. Again, we're going opposite order. There's A for Avalon. B is for Behir. Or Behir. Or Behir. Is that like the lady on the view? I don't know. I've never seen the view. Shocking, I know. Um, Bahir is or lifted. the guy from DS9? I don't know, man. Never watched DS9 either. Shocking, I know. Okay. A Bahir is... Could we, could we get a spelling for that? B-E-H-I-R. Oh. A Bahir is what is called a huge monstrosity. And a monstrosity... So your mom. All right. Uncalled for. She's a lovely woman. A monstrosity I hope is... I she doesn't watch this. Sorry. She's probably going to watch this. Sorry. She's probably going to watch this. All right. Sorry. My poor sweet mother. My poor sweet mother. A monstrosity is a monster in the strictest sense. Okay. Frightening creatures that are not ordinary not truly natural, and almost never benign. Okay. Some are the results of magical experimentation gone awry. Oh, no. Such as owl bears. Owl bears? Sounds like a thing from Avatar. When we get to the O's, that's the one I'm picking. And others are the product of terrible curses, including minotaurs and wanti. One T. <laughs> they defy categorization and in some sense serve as a catch-all category for creatures that don't fit into any other type. Here is what we know about a Bahir. The Bahir makes two attacks, one with its bite and one to constrict. Mm. The bite has a 10-foot reach and the constriction a five foot reach. Wait, so bite has ten? So it can like bite further. I guess it's got to be close. Wait, so it must be able to get out at other, you. Well, there's also the ten foot long teeth option. Okay, well, yeah, that's true. You said ten feet and five feet. Yeah, but those are like, D&D &D terms, I think ten foot like is like a general attack radius, and five foot is like a closer in attack radius. So I don't know, we can I really... I still think the bite, if the bite... Well, what, we'll find out. We'll I think what this means is it can lunge at you to bite, but it can't That's really it can't really lunge to constrict. That's my thinking. Okay. Okay. I work in the game industry. Okay. 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 I know these things. I've never played D and D. Well, once when I was very little, I think I said that before. I've I had one man. Adventure zone. Does that count? It does. The Bahir makes two attacks. One to bite, one to constrict. Bite is a ten foot reach. Constriction has a five foot reach. Okay. The Bahir can grapple a target if it isn't already constricting one. What is the difference between... Hold on. Okay. And the target is restrained until the grapple ends. The Bahir can exhale 
a line of lightning that is 20 feet long and 5 foot wide. So it's just like a big old lightning burst, right? Wow, this thing is wild. And uh, it says it can swallow a target. While swallowed, you don't die. You just get sucked in like, uh, like Pinocchio in a whale. Or like Kirby. While swallowed, the target is blinded and restrained and takes acid damage at the start of each of the Behir's turns. A Behir can have only one creature swallowed at a time, so it doesn't have a big old belly, I guess. The Behir may regurgitate a creature which falls prone in a space within 10 feet of the Behir. Okay. So obviously a snake of some sort. Seems that way. A A lightning snake. A lightning snake. I guess. All right, so. Apparently. That's all we got? That's all we've got. Okay. That's all we've got. All right, well, let's begin. Yes. Um, well, you know what, let me, let me, let me rethink what I just did, because I'm like, I'm not leaving room for the lightning strike, which is the important part. Ah, uh, yes. Well, of course, remember, it is Photoshop. We can move things. You moved That's the, true. uh, you moved the aboleth to make room for its pink telepathic wave. Very um, important. Okay, so the thing that, okay, here we go. So it's got a ten foot. So it's got to be able to lunge pretty so far. I'm actually imagining it's going to have, like, one of these, like, Kind of like creepy. Kind of like um, something real creepy. Okay, I see. Like yeah. like some little like inward facing so things to force stuff into its gullet, which makes sense. Yeah, and it's gonna have like a giant mouth for it because it has to be able to swallow. It's gonna be like super. I mean, ten foot. You know, ten feet. Being able to to grab stuff seems like. So here's the thing that I don't super understand um, as well, which is that I don't know if when it said grapple, I don't know whether the grappling happens with its mouth or, like, does it have little tiny hands well, like I a was, lizard? I was assuming like what's, what is it grappling? But it said constrict. It, it, it must have. It's the, it's the snake wrapping around. So it grabs it you. It can't grapple if it's constricting. Okay. So basically it has to use its tail to wind around you or something. Yeah. Okay. That would be my All right. thinking. All right. I mean, so basically what I'm just drawing is like a super creepy snake. Nothing. So wait, bite, five feet constrict. Which honestly, does that mean he's got like a tiny little worm body or something? I don't think so. I think it just means like it's standing on its tail, so it can't really throw it out very far because its head would flop back, right? Okay. So it's kind of got to, you know... It's kind of it can it can lunge at you really well, but it can't necessarily I'm flail gonna, the I'm gonna thing out. I'm gonna give it right. some spikes. I don't I'm see why I'm not. I'm gonna give it some. That some, looks good. Bit of a spike. Looking good there. Kind of thing. Here. Joy Bay here. Or Ives Behar, Bay here. I think he's a designer. Could be. I think he may have designed the Ouya. The Ouya. That like game console that didn't really happen. I mean, it happened, but. Okay. Alright, so am I missing any... Oh, acid! Oh. In the stomach, though. But he could be... He, I mean, he could have a little bit of bite, right? Mm, possibly, although I guess it doesn't say that, so... Let's just assume... Like, I think it's just stomach acid. But there's probably some... Regurgitation? Like, you can just see. Okay. Right, because he's regurgitating stuff. He is, yeah, he's kind of a so vomit. So probably just, like, yeah. around here okay. he's just got some... No, I understand just a that. a little bit of it. I can see it's why like that. A, like a Komodo dragon, right? Yeah. Where it's, like, it's, like, dripping. Okay. It's, like, yeah. it's just there. It's no, I understand. Hanging out. That does make sense. Okay. All right. So the lightning... Yeah. Um... Here we go. We're gonna... We're gonna do... It's kind of weird that it shoots lightning. Well, I wasn't. We're not gonna I don't understand her. That didn't sound like the kind of thing that would shoot lightning, but there it is. Look, I mean. Where's the eye on this thing? It's right here. Is that an eye? That's a tiny little eye. That is a tiny little eye, dude. I thought it would make it creepier. Do you not like the eye? We can I feel like it needs a bigger eye, like a cuter eye. I like the, I like that cute. Fr- yeah, I mean, you know, it's kind of cute. It's a little like fun snake thing. Is it? Thing. Is it? Well, I thought the abalette was pretty cute. I feel like this is probably. I tried to go cute. creepy with it. Why? Because I, I, I mean, it just sounded creepy. But you know, we can work on the eye. I think all of these are probably pretty cute. I mean, when I read it, I'm thinking cute. Oh. Okay. Interesting. 
What was it? It had like a pretty big um, lightning. Yeah, thing. it was kind of weird. Like it was like a wide lightning, li wide lightning swath, which doesn't really make sense because I'm not sure how lightning does that. Lightning tends to fork outward if it gets wider, but they didn't do that, so We're going I don't to do know. like an outer glow here. Oh god. Oh. Wow, I'm actually just going to leave Yikes. that. I'm just going to leave that. I don't think that needs to get touched. That's that's exactly I mean that's where we're at right there. All right, we're, you didn't like the eye. Done. You didn't like the eye though. It's just it's not where's the personality? You know, I mean, I don't want to play armchair art director here, but where's the, where you know, where's the personality? I'm not getting in touch with this bay here. With this be here, the higher, but it's a higher power. Yeah. Nah, he, he, hold on. Yeah, now we're getting somewhere. What if we, what if we did like this? Yeah, there we go. I'm like we want it, that was, we need, we need some like the creep, the extra creep. Okay. Okay. How you feeling about this guy? I think it's pretty good. I'm not sensing a level of enthusiasm. You know, we need to color him too, though. Well, here's what I would say. I don't want to hear it. All right. What is, what is it? What is I it? was going to say, like, I'm just looking at him, and he's got some nice plumage on his back, but what's on the top of the head? Like, should he have a hat or something? It just looks like there's something missing. Hat. Yeah. Well, it looks like there's something missing on the top of the head. Well, let's, let's think about that. I'm going to color him. Do you think, like, a big hat would go well? That didn't, it's just not, it's not, it's not working for me today. This yeah, this Photoshop doesn't really well, have it, the, it doesn't the intelligent fill Well, it doesn't work great on like, uh, yeah, on, on rough light. Yeah, because it, it, any little leak and it goes nuts. Alright, here we go. Joy Behar is looking a little rough these days. Who's Joy Behar? So I think she's on The View. Okay, okay. I think the internet has told me that. Has told you that. teeth in there? Of course. Put some good menacing teeth in there. Alright, and then, you know, as far as eyes go. Yeah. Um, just something real nasty. Yeah, okay. Um, yeah. We'll grab, you know, for the inside of his mouth. He hasn't got it. Nope, that's, mess it up. It's fine. When you say effed it up, you mean fixed it up. That's right. Okay. Yeah. Um, we gotta throw maybe some like saucy plumage on there. That's what I, do you see what I'm trying to tell you? Yeah. Hold on. Right? It's because that top of the head is just begging for some saucy plumage. How is this bay here ever gonna find a mate? How is with, it ever with going to find a mate? With four measly little spines and a lightning bolt. Like it needs something. Hmm, hmm, hmm. You know, something for the, hmm. well I don't know whether something the... Something for the ladies. Or men, I guess I don't know which animal does plumage in which gender does plumage in this particular. Um, oh yeah, okay, yes. Now we're getting somewhere. Yeah. Um, I'm not sure if these are like. Yeah, me neither. But I don't care. Whatever. I don't really because know. Because they're just, they're just good. Yes. Yes. Just, just Correct. impressive, impressive. Oh yeah, yeah. Very impressive. Yes. Yep. Yes. Yep. Something's starting to happen now. See what I'm saying? Yep. Starting you know to come what he together. Can do is he can also just have like oh, yeah. going on his back. Of course he can. Why wouldn't he? Yeah. Yes. I mean, I think we've gotten to sort of an interesting place. I'll yeah. Just, Give him know, a little, I'll little just tone. Throw a little shade. Yeah. A little, throw a little shade. Yeah. On there. Yeah. Just like know? they do on the view. Just like, just like on the view. Yeah. You know. Yes. Yes. Look at that. He holds the majesty. I, I'm thinking this is another one that's going into the going into the monster manual. Look at that. I mean, that's just coming together, right? Wouldn't you agree? I would agree. Yeah. It's looking, it's looking on fleek. Oh God. I mean, just just makes me want to play D and D. Can we can we cue adjust that lightning bolt though? It looks You're weird not now. It well, it doesn't match the rest of the drawing. Is the problem. Okay. Can we just cue shift it somewhere else? It's kind of just not. I don't know. It's not working for me. Would you agree? What? I don't know what I don't know what's wrong with it. The blue, the, the something's wrong with it. Outer glow might be part of the problem here. Yeah, what's going on with that? Can we can we can we can we make that outer glow not be a gradient? That almost I mean I think it's the gradient that's the gradient. It, it needs to be like more solid because the rest of the thing don't. Got, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Sure. Can now we can we hue around that guy or or just play yeah. with him a little? I think we're getting somewhere now. 
I mean, we could also just yeah. do like white. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. Just that, that's, I think, I think that solved most of the problem there. It was just the glow was weird. Well, All right. Yeah. Not a fan of the glow. No, but now it's, now it's working. Yeah. Yes. Right? Don't you think? We're getting we'll do that. Right we'll do that. We'll do that. And sure. We'll do that. Sure. What's the, what's the, um, You know, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how to feel about it. I like it. that. You like that? It's yeah, yeah, that. It's, it's good. really basically what we yeah. have. Yeah. All right. That. Joy Behar. I mean, what? So what does it actually look like? What is an actual Behir? 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 Do we... Does it have a pronunciation guide somewhere? Because that would also be helpful. So it actually... Um, interesting. That's actually what it looks like. Okay. That So that's a Behir? Yeah. Okay. Uh, anyway, let me I do you. think that the Spitz Lightning is probably something that also happens on the view, just based on my limited oh. knowledge of that program. How does it look? You know, it's Show like, it to me. I gotta find the, like, official one, because there's, like, I'm getting a lot of a big variety. Okay. How do you know which one's official, though? Does it have, like, a, is there ones from actual WASI? I think this is, I think this okay, is. Okay, let me see that. Let's see that guy in here. Okay, so, I just, I'm just gonna point this out. I brought up the lizard legs. The old, like we basically nailed it, but we don't have the lizard legs. I brought up the lizard legs. I disagree. See, I that disagree. was my artist in my disagree. artist intuition is that it had little tiny lizard legs, like a T Rex, right? That's why it can't grapple. All right. See, this all is right. what it's no, doing. You know what? We, right? This is what it's doing right here. This is right what here. it's doing, it's what it's doing. Okay. So here's what we're gonna do. That's what it does this to you. Okay, and you okay. can't you can't escape. But if you're even slightly further away from it, you okay. can't really do anything so about that. You're gonna add a little leg in there. We're gonna deal with that. We're gonna add a little leg in there. We're gonna, we're gonna just take care of that. Okay. Ah, <laughs> yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now we're talking. Yeah. So I think we've learned something else, which is that having little tiny T Rex arms is always better than not having them. So we should have just added them on that principle alone. Yeah. But anyway. All right. I think. Yeah. I mean, I basically think we've got. You've nailed it. There's nothing else. All right. One more. To, we're one more. We're gonna do one more. Let's do one more. All right. Last All right. one. All right. This one is a challenge. So it's usually like we give you two. You know, easy, easy ones, and okay. this is this is where you gotta really step up. This is where you earn your artist stripes. Okay. Mhm. Mm I feel like the cat. Hold on, I need to get. Oh, how do we get out of the frame? Just need to really focus on that for a sec. Yeah. Alright. I feel like now it might be in frame. No. no. You have to move it, if you moved it just a little bit more that way. I can't. Fine. Sorry, it's Bean. You're not you're not in the frame yet. All right. It needs to be in front. Oh, I see. All right. Here, here, Bean. How about this? In front of the garbage. Yeah. Perfect. Now yes. she can be part of the show. Accurate. All right. And good. So, this one is not does for once we know how to pronounce it. It's a cloaker. And that's spelled. C l o a k e r, like cloak with an e r on the end. Okay. It is a large aberration. Okay. Aberrations are utterly alien beings. This is oh, the this same is as the Aboleth. Many of them have innate magical abilities drawn from the creature's alien mind rather than the mystical force of the world, and the quintessential aberrations are Aboleths, which we've done, Beholders, Mind Flayers, and Slotty. Okay? Mm-hmm. Here we go. Okay. So you get a big first clue. Okay. Basically, one side of this creature mm. is pretty easy. Oh. The other side is going to be tricky. Mm. While the cloaker remains motionless without its underside exposed, it is indistinguishable from a dark leather cloak. So basically, its back looks, looks like, like some looks like Humphrey Bogart is leaving. Leather looks like Humphrey. Well, I guess that's not leather. That's more. Like a, like a... But wouldn't it, I mean, it'd be on the ground, so it looks like somebody dropped their cloak on the ground. Yeah. Or if you're hearing it from behind, it just yeah. looks like a... Oh, yeah. I bet they're imagining, like, if it's standing in its bag, it's too... Because I was imagining it was, like, on the ground. I don't it's know. Like, laying belly down on the ground like a spider or something. I'll be honest. Okay. I've got what you've got here. So this is the, this is the back. We'll, we'll, we'll think about this. For some reason in my mind, I was thinking of trench coat. <laughs> That's why I said Humphrey Bogart. I'm like, oh, it's a, you know... But well, no. Wait, I mean, sorry, okay, okay. But that's not what it is. Can you just continue? The cloaker has trouble seeing in bright light. Okay. 
I'm not sure why, but that's the thing about so its eyes. Maybe no. Okay. So maybe it has cat things. eyes. I don't know. Some eyes that are attuned for dark, dark viewing. I guess. It makes two attacks, one with its bite and one with its tail. Now, how it has a tail when its back looks like a leather cloak, I don't know, but you're the artist. You'll have to figure it out. The bite has a five-foot reach, and the tail has a ten-foot reach. So it's kind of the opposite of the previous one mm -hmm. where you know the bite was worse than the tail, or further reaching. A cloaker can attach to a target's head... Ooh and the target is blinded and unable to breathe while the cloaker is attached. While attached, the cloaker can, make on can only make attacks against that target. So it's like only able to attack the thing that it's on. It doesn't have like a... So the okay. tail, I guess, can't swipe can't either. Swipe it's really confusing where this tail is. I don't know. Hmm. It can maybe, maybe it's like a rolly tail, like a rolled up. Maybe. It can detach itself and can be attached by a target with, uh, can, sorry, it can okay. detach itself and can be detached by a target with sufficient strength. So you can like pull can it pull off, off you. Okay. Each creature within 60 mm -hmm. feet of the cloaker that can hear its moan and isn't an aberration itself may become frightened. Mm. So it has a frightening moan. Like, oh, oh, oh like that. Finally, and this is the part where it gets really... This, this is a tough one. You got your work cut okay, off. Okay, all right. Right? <coughs> Here comes the, the, the whammy, because you got to draw this thing three times. Draw it three times? If it isn't in bright light, the cloaker may magically create three illusory duplicates of itself. The duplicates move with it and mimic its actions, shifting positions so as to make it impossible to track which cloaker is the real one. But they all look the same. I don't have to draw three. You could probably just draw one. Well, because so I'm... I guess you have to draw four, technically, because there's three not, copies. No, but we're just going to draw what it looks like. Okay. So basically, here's what I'm going to do. I have a... Uh, this is my All right. plan. Okay. So we know that from behind, it looks like a dark leather cloak. Yes. So I'm going to start... Which, by the way, I've never seen. Cloak? A dark leather cloak. Fabric aside. Is that like what a cowboy wears when they wear a cloak? I'm imagining a hooded cloak. Like a Harry Out of Potter, leather. Like a Harry Potter cloak. It smells it. Disgusting. You know, it's a it's a it's a monster. Okay. Right here. Cause like I'm thinking, if I draw the silhouette, then I can fill what the front would look like in on that. I would also like to point something out. Yes. If this is leather, there's no reason it couldn't be like white with black spots. I mean, it could be. A cow tie. Could be really any cow. We're not gonna. I'm not gonna draw the back of it though, because the front is. I'm just sorry. Little uh, just got it in the head. Let the artist. I didn't mean to spoil the fun. All right. So basically, I'm gonna just draw. What I what I see, I I better draw something else fast because this is looking troublesome. Okay. Well, th this is not um, all ages. Okay. So basically, but I'm my plan is here. Like I'm I'm imagining this is like a cloak, right? From yes. behind. Yes. A cloaked figure. Yes. Yes. Little Red Riding Hood. So what we know, okay, is it it's bad eyes. It has a bite and a tail. It's not bad eyes. It's, it's just dark. dark this eye. It, so, it's used to looking at dark so things, I guess. Gonna, I don't know what that means. So I'm going to assume, trouble seeing in bright light, I'm going to imagine maybe it's got actually like really, well here, I'm going to, I'm going to like. Like cat eyes? Well, I, yes. Maybe? I'm going to say big nocturnal like yeah. cat eyes. Like, or like an owl. Like an owl or a cat or, or something. Or cat and so it kind of just gets blinded because it can't dilate enough or something. Yeah. Um, or I guess con not dilate, the opposite of dilate, con contract. So we're gonna do it's not really creepy enough. Maybe we'll get there. So we're gonna say like you know, and it could be like he's he's seeing in the dark, right? As soon as it turns bright, he's gonna be like in big ouchy town, right? Alright. Oh, I like that. So the other thing is like the, yeah. the bite the bite is pretty important for this guy. Yeah. So I'm imagining he's got like Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. That's excellent right there. I mean, look at look at that. Look at the ferocity. Right? Um, so, actually, and, like, this is just... I don't know, you know, he's not wearing a cloak, right? Right, it's just part of his skin, I guess. Sort of. 
Okay, and so he's got creepy moan. Well, this uh, this mouth also goes. It's in like a moaning kind of shape. Like if you were imagining what somebody would mouth would be doing when they were moaning. Puss, do you want to come out? Puss, do you want to come out? You can go. You can go. If you want to, go ahead. I'm not sure if she wants to come up or not. All right, so she's incisive. Do we? We don't have any indication apart from a tail what the rest of its body would be like. It can it grab you? Like, does it grab at all? Does it have like a a reach, or does it really just bite? And so tail? it really does seem like it maybe can't do that because it. I mean, I guess here's what I'll say. It has some way of attaching to a victim's head. I was assuming the teeth. Right. Now, it doesn't have any ability to attack other than its tail and its teeth. That's it. So maybe it has little tiny, like. Once again, we're doing the tiny, the tiny. Well, I was thinking more like a like a centipede kind of thing, like little tiny, mm. or you know what I mean, mm. or. So um, maybe it's like here we. we I don't got, know. We gotta have the tail in here somewhere, right? And don't forget, it moans Well, as I, was well. Gonna, I was trying to say, like, this mouth yeah. is very moany. Yes. Yeah. Oh, like that. Um, yeah, I, I don't know. And I, so, basically, it's, like, within... Yeah, okay. I see because what he, he can't... Yeah. It's gotta be hidden. Yes. It has to all fold up under the cloak, quote-unquote. And he can hit you with his tail, right? The tail is yes. dangerous. Yes, the tail is not a good thing. So yeah, how he grabs on, I'm not entirely we sure, but maybe gonna, he wraps a tail around we're gonna, you. We're gonna, we've learned yes. here that little tiny things yes. oh, yes. are yeah. very important. Yeah, okay. Um, that is exactly what that needed as well. And so we got yes. that. And also, I yeah. liked your little centipede idea, so we're just going to give yes. him little crawlers. Yeah. This is just very good. I think that's what this needed the entire time. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I think we're we're in a pretty good place. Yes. With him. Very, very positive. I mean, what more needs to be said? What color is this thing, though? And also, it's like what. So it's dark leather. So I guess I don't know. Is the underside also like a leathery color, or is the underside like different, like markedly different? Hmm. You know. Yeah, I don't know. Could be like one of those snakes that has like yeah, a or tan or underside and yeah. green back or, or something like that. Or it could this, have right? like a patterning of some kind, like like a butterfly. You yes. know, like these are almost like butterfly, like wings. Yes. You know, that extend out, and it's just beautiful. You know, it's just beautiful. Behold the majesty. Underneath. It's like planet Earth. So I mean, that's pretty good. The series. All right, so we're gonna um, I guess we're gonna throw some color on this bad boy. Yeah. We know he's du he's dark leather on the outside. Yeah. So you know, I'm just gonna grab like. I think it's important that we, we, we at least acknowledge yes. his his outer coloring. Yes. I mean, here comes in your cow spots. It's like Yes. It's like it all came together magically yep. and beautifully. No, I, I agree with that. Yes. Yeah, because it'd be like light brown and dark brown or something. Yeah. Just like a cow. It's like a cow, you know? Just like a cow. Can is this gonna work? Oh, Gonna work. Now I have a question for the people who work at Watsi, because uh, I, I want to know now. If you were to kill a cloaker in battle, right? So one attacks you and you kill it. Can you wear it as a cloak? I mean, one would assume. Ooh, interesting. If you can kill a cow and make it into a cloak, you should be able to kill a cloak and make it into but a I mean, cloak, everyone, right? Everyone's just gonna think you're wearing like a normal leather cloak. Right, and that's fine though. Okay. Like, why is that bad? Because wouldn't you want? Cat is tearing stuff up over there. She's getting into trouble. I don't even want to know what's going on over don't there. Don't worry about it. It sounds like she's eating dry food, but there is... No, I think she's just got her claws stuck in the okay. oven, like a normal cat does. So, I think we're going to we're gonna continue now with a, um, like a dark... Oh, wow. Well, just hear me out. Hear okay. me out. Hear me out. Hear me out. Right, we don't right. have to... Not, you know, we don't have to commit okay. to anything. This is like right. a Bob Ross, like, okay. Happy Trees kind of... All right kind of vibe we're trying to keep here and where just you go can and just play try with you can just go ahead try anything just you know? fire it in there I'm gonna get some titanium wire titanium wire we're gonna just put some titanium wire and we're just gonna brush those little centipede legs in there alright so let's like you know we're gonna we're gonna do we're gonna do yeah cat is speaking
No, arms, arms, no, but spikes, maybe. I don't know. I don't really know what my plan is right now. But he's so dark now, you can't really see the line work on his face and stuff. Okay. So he kind of has to be brighter. I'll brighten him up. You know what I mean? I'll brighten him up. In order to see it. Not that the blue is a problem. I, or, you know, you could lighten up ah, the, cat, just the, the lines or something, too. Lighting my legs. Which would work as well. Ooh, great. I don't like that. I don't know about this color scheme, man. This is looking real weird. What about weird. that? What about actually just going darker? I could see it. I just feel like we're going to have to... Oh, yeah. All right. Yeah. I do feel like the brown cloak is a little bit weird. Maybe it's actually uh, the cloak that we it could to be. With it here. could be. It could be. Oh my god, the cat is biting me. Bubinga, come up here. Come on. You don't bite the artist. You don't bite the artist. The artist needs to draw the picture. Your job is just to be cat. You don't have to draw the picture, but you can't bite the artist. I explained it to her. Uh, okay. I think she understands. You know, I think I think we're really struggling a little bit with the colors here. So it's, do we want to go with yeah. the cow thing? It's falling apart a little bit in the color. Okay, I think the answer is yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Um, I mean, what if we just? So I think it's just that middle piece. Can we just make that a little bit more standard? Like, not try to get too aggressive with it. You know, because we've got that the cow cloak to fall back on there. Maybe, it's maybe something like maybe make him a light tan or something. Or oh, you're okay. You're just. You know what I'm saying? like uh, get him into a light tan situation and, uh, and call it a day yeah you know just like something like that right um, yeah let me just I do think the eyes the eyes need yeah. like a pop yeah color. yes um, that's what I'm talking know, about you know throw a little shade yeah. a little shadowing on yeah. there um, now we're talking like Joy Behar on The View that's right just, just like her yeah on The View yeah yes See, now it's coming together. Now this guy is a menacing terror. You can see. You can just see the menace, right? And the terror, both of those two things. The menace and the terror. The terroring, terror, menace, terror. Menace, terror. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yeah. I mean, I think, you know, all things considered. I think we've got it. I mean, I think that's probably what they were thinking when they wrote that description, you know? Yeah, I mean, I think that's probably right. Yeah. Yep. All right, so shall we... Shall we so what does this actually up? look like? So this is... Which, this is called... The it's called a cloaker. Nope. Uh, what? Hmm. Hmm. You see that? Well, see, that doesn't look, look anything like a cloak from behind. I don't understand how that, that is not acceptable. That, that just doesn't follow you know what, what the rules say, at all. You know what, actually, apart from that, we got basically all the other Yeah, elements, right? I mean, the face, it looks exactly like your face, actually. And yeah, the tail looks quite like your tail. And I actually gave them even two little stupid hands. So, I mean... We crushed it, except they didn't. They got it wrong. Look, I mean... We Wizards of the Coast... Did you read your own description? Uh -huh. Okay, it has. It is indistinguishable from a leather cloak from behind. All right, so I mean, do we want to just take one last look at all of our beautiful creations before heading out? Let's back through those. Yeah. So, and then here's our here's our. That's very good. Here. That's a bit here. And then here, our abolith. I do think the abolith is a bit of a standout, especially because mm -hmm. of that beautiful thumb. Well, you know I mean, saying? it's true. Yeah. It's true. Yeah. Well, I think we our work is done. Well, on behalf of all of us here at Molly Rocket, thank you for joining us for this episode of Anna Draws It. Um, I think we've pretty much captured the spirit uh, of pen and paper RPG to a T. Oh, exactly. Um, I think what you've really done is you've translated what's already was in the imagination of all of the adventures out there, and you've just put it to page, really. Yep. Uh, so we don't know what's going to happen in the series. We'll probably try it again. See what happens. If you enjoyed this, come come see us on mollyrocket.com, uh, and we'll find a place to post these at some point. Somewhere. Probably on the Handmade Hero stream. Yep. Take it easy, everybody. Bye.